Hey, and welcome to High 45, a week's analysis of tech and world news leading towards a singularity. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. And this is High 45. Yeah. So, what's new this week? What's happened? I don't know, lots of stuff. It's kind of weird. Should we explain what the show is? I thought you were going to do that. Well, we did, so we did a brief thing explaining what it is. Oh, okay, uh, beyond our, our brief. Yeah, but, 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 but you mean that jumping straight yeah, into yeah, yeah, it, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Well, uh, pretty much just uh, analysing all the latest stuff off uh, Reddit, TechCrunch, uh, Singularity Hub, pretty much pretty much anywhere bought, around yeah. the net. If, if you have any uh, better sources, okay. please tell us, like, yeah. we'll look at them. Oh yeah, we look around everywhere. And then just pretty much sitting down, analysing it, see yeah. what we think, where it's going. Yeah, we'd like it's to consider ourselves futurists, but... Don't, <laughs> just don't, not that term. Don't like, hold us yeah. on it. Like, <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a bad term, it's just not a good one. We like to think about the future, you know, make some good predictions, make yeah. some bad ones, it's all fun. Yeah, well that's it. Yeah. And it's just see where it's going in general. We spend way too much time in this, so let's have some fun with it. Anyway, um, shall we start with one of your stories first? What did you find? Um, well, the big one this week. What, what, what week is it? Oh yeah, we should do the week, eh? Hey? Well, now um, it's the 17th of January. Except we're doing it for last week because we're a bit... Yeah. So it's the week ending 17th of January. Yep. Yep, okay. So, big thing this week. Uh, China censorship. Uh, that was a good one. Which, the title doesn't really make sense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> China censorship! China's censoring everything! Well, they are okay. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway, you find? Uh, Google noticed an attack on their servers and uh, they found out by actually hacking them back that China had hacked Google and a bunch of other companies like Adobe. Wait, they hacked Adobe. them back? Yeah. Google hacked China back? Yeah, that's pretty hardcore. But that's kind of awesome. <laughs> So China hacked Google, like I read all about that. I didn't read about uh, Google actually hacking China back. Yeah, neither did I until one of our housemates actually showed it to us, to us on Facebook. Holy crap. Yeah, um, so they hacked them back. I don't know a lot about it, but the basic story is um, a whole bunch of Chinese hackers, they're thinking it's probably in the government, hacked a bunch of uh, American companies mm. trying to basically steal intellectual property as you know they do they're influenced for um, Google hacked them back and now Google's actually they're worried about their security they're worried about their intellectual property and they're actually thinking of pulling yeah, out, out of China, China. yeah well, I saw that I saw lots of stuff about like yeah. how people are putting um, like flowers on Google's logo and all yeah. that. <laughs> a little lame, but yeah, it's understandable. Well, yeah, it's, it's because they um they're not censoring in China anymore. Yeah, well, I saw that. Like if you look up Tiananmen Square, yeah, you if it. you just do it on Google dot cn uh, dot com dot cn or just cn whatever it is, just dot cn yeah. Yeah, that doesn't actually uh, they that's not actually the same as it is in China. Like they, there was a Reddit thread about it, and that's not the exact same as they get in China. But they have uncensored it, but you can't just go to it. It won't work like that. Right. I hope I'm right. If I'm not, please correct me. <laughs> um, well, I love the lower third yeah, movement. I love the lower third thing. It's just epic. You don't know um, that much. Yeah. But see, just in general, like, how do you think companies are going to go with this? Like, I, I mean, censorship has been such a massive thing. Though. Like, Google, don't be evil. That They tend to be, like, one of the, the better companies that are out there. But so many companies now, I've been reading, like, article after article about this. And everyone's like, if you want to work in China, you have to follow their laws. You have yeah. to go along and you have to censor. But is that, like, possible in this age? Like, I mean, there's going to have to come a point where that stops or goes into total police state. Yeah, well, I mean, China's going to be the next superpower, both mm. offline and online. So it... But they, see, they, can't, it, they can't hold on to censorship in China and expect Well, growth. see, that, that's what I'm not sure about. There was an article today, I think, on... Oh, I don't know where it was from. I should have kept that one. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it was a good article about saying uh, uh, why China can actually do that. We're a little bit naive to think that capitalism can only thrive under well, free information. Because yeah. it doesn't have to only work that way, that it can be done in a multitude of different ways. And China is just making sure that the state's always right. Like, did you see, uh, there was a great uh, conversation on, on Reddit again, um, about people saying, like, talking to their Chinese friends, and I was saying, oh, did you hear about, like, Tiananmen Square, and now you can see it, and they were like, yeah, it was so horrible, how many of those students, the soldiers, uh, how many of the, uh, how many of the soldiers died because of those students, and it was just a totally warped perspective, like, completely what? opposite to ours. Yeah. So many wow. people, well, even speaking to another friend of ours, I'm Carl, like, about that, it's a little bit that... So it is very dictatorship, very controlled. Mm, that people really like the state. Man. I'd hate to see what it's like in North Korea. <laughs> <That would> be, <laughs> it's another different That would part, be a yeah. psychologist, like, goldmine, just studying yeah, how those people think. There's lots of good interviews think. about that. I, I had lots of fun researching that a little bit. Yeah, cool. Lots of good interviews of people coming out. But, yeah. So what, what do you think is going to happen with China? Like, uh, well, just the business approach. Well, the Google approach. Let's just go small. Well, they're, they're not even a major player. Um, Baidu, the... Apparently it's state-owned, I 
Think yeah, there. but they were sixty percent. Google. It's like massively state owned. Like, did you see what happened? That they actually shut Google down for a little bit. Anyone that went to Google, it's they redirected, redirected yeah. it to them. And if you actually <laughs> go back on the Wayback Machine, you go back to Baidu. It well, used to look identical to Yahoo. They've just well, changed you, it. If you're trying to only have the, the capability, why would you let Western a Western company, mm. an American company, no less, come in and steal What's money? That's... Yeah. Well, I guess it's become the major search provider. Search when, provider, yeah. When, when, when the Chinese company could do it. Well, and that's it. Just naturally hacking just seems like the next logical like, step, like, really. You know, if Australia was con- yeah. if Australia was concerned about it, like imagine if they did the same thing. They're like, well, yeah. well you can't come to Australia. We're actually going to get an Australian company to start up. Yeah. A search engine and be the major search in Australia. Well, it's that always better it back, for yeah. It's, it's always better, better for them. For the but economy. Yeah. I just hope it ends up. Going back, because I, I used to think that like, well, free market, free entrepreneurship and all of that will end up making it free, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. I'm not too sure. Yeah. What are you drinking at the moment, by the way? Oh, yeah, I've got some delicious Goon. wine a la casque, also known as Goon. <laughs> I ran out of beer, so here we go. Red wine. Cheers. What are you drinking? Uh, just two ease white stag. You know, watching the weight. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Because it's, it's low carb, it says so, so. Yeah, oh, yeah. You can drink a carton in one sitting, <laughs> eighty. Yay! Yeah, that's not bad. Winner. Next story. Next story. Okay, this one is about Ricky Gervais quitting Twitter. Yeah. It's a good story. Now, I don't care. Yeah, no, no, let me flesh it out. I don't care. Twitter's growth has flatlined. Twitter has been the biggest thing that everyone's been talking about on the net. Like, you can't name something else that has met the hype of Twitter. Like, well, they have very recently. few active users. Yeah, well, that's it. Like, people just, they come on, they don't know what the hell they're doing, and they go away. Eric Gervais is a great example. Like, he did six tweets or something. I don't like that, if I remember. Really? Anyway, yeah, he did six tweets, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know why. And then he said, uh, I just don't get it, I'm afraid, uh, because it makes it seem undignified. Adults who use it are undignified. And again, he could build his reputation a lot more on Twitter. He could. He could oh, yeah, build Everyone a lot already there. knows Ricky Gervais. So you're like, oh shit, he's on Twitter. He's making all these funny jokes on there. How many followers he had? During his brief dabble with Twitter, Gervais amassed more than 13,000 followers. So oh. With six tweets, yeah. Six tweets. So it's, it's people want to follow. I think, but I think the big issue still is people don't know what to do with Twitter. No. When everyone's like, you, you see people discussing, it's like, oh, you, you have to find your own way for it. But that's a terrible marketing strategy, is it? Here you go, enjoy. <laughs> find your own reason to like use it. They, they could at least give you sort of, you know, video hints or some sort of some sort but of what, really quick way to give people hints. But what hints do you do? Like, like, if you're not a celebrity, it's like, as a celebrity, like, updating all the time, it's just well, a little the, bit... The biggest thing, the thing is we don't have, no one uses it in Australia because no one has smartphones, really. It's a very mm. small market. 